Hey guys, it's Jen from the blog Spanish with Senora Shaw, and I'm here to talk to you about how to use Google Tour Builder, just some basics, and then also how to navigate to Street View. So once you go to the web address that your Google Tool Build, Tour Builder's at, uh, your screen will look like this, more or less. You'll have an introduction, and then you'll see your little bullets along the left-hand side here. Um, sometimes it starts my students in like random places, so I always tell them, you know, find out where Mexico is, I guess, and zoom in, zoom out. Um, another way to do it a lot of times, if you just click on the first place, it'll kind of center you over that. Um, and then I have kids kind of zoom in until you can see where it clearly starts right here. So the way it works in Google Tour Builder, you will be allowing students that you still to look at videos and photos that you select and you set up for them. Um, you'll notice that some of these places I've set up captions, like here the, about the National Palace. Um, the Templo Mayor Museum has a couple different videos. And then some of them have photos. Um, other places, um, I, I have a sheet that goes along with it, so it asks them to look for certain things and to check off what they see. Um, to get students really started, you'll need to get them into Street View. And so to get students into Street View, you can take this little yellow guy here and basically drag them, and you'll notice that a whole bunch of blue popped up. So there's little pockets of blue. For example, here there's just a little dot of blue. If you drop your person onto that dot, you'll find, oh, okay, it really didn't like that dot. Let's try a different dot. Um, if you drop them on this dot instead, you'll see that you can like see what somebody would see from that spot, but it's just a photograph. You really can't move in that. To exit Street, street View, go back here. And then, again, take your little yellow guy. Let's drop him on someplace that is a line along a street or something that we can clearly navigate. So, here I am next to the Zocalo. And then the way you can move, you can use your keyboard, you can actually use your arrows a lot of the times like you can in a video game. Um, you can also use your mouse and just click yourself forward. And a lot of times it'll give you like different options of directions, oh hey, hello there, of places that you can go. And the arrows kind of pop up like I can go right here and I can kind of view and pan what I need to see. I can even walk a little further, and sometimes it transitions a little bit strangely, just depending on how the Google Street View video was recorded. Um, but you'll you can see that here I'm walking along the street, and I can turn. Um, and then sometimes students like just get like lost, like I don't know where I'm at, I don't know what to do, and that's where you just have them click Exit Street View, and then they can just figure out where they want to go from there. And that's a little bit about how the Mexico City Tour Builder works and how you navigate uh, Google Street View. And you can save yourself a lot of time. You can download this, the link to this tour, Google Tour Builder activity along with the handout and the instructions that go with it um, on my website on Teachers Paid Teachers. And so again, my blog name is Spanish with Senora Shaw, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much.